iris flaming with the future dead, crawling out of their catacombs, coughing, hacking up COVID variants, dreaming of the future, a future of asphalt and headlights. Our future lies in space, the dead men say, dead now with their billions of rubles, lira, dollars, liars, the dead men of today dreaming of the dead poems the future will dream, lifting us out of the dirt, dreaming of a world that has never been, Los Angeles, Chicago, Lagos, Singapore, a disappointed bridge, a bridge to nowhere, jumping off a bridge into the turquoise waters, the gleaming waters radiant with life, speak to me, asking me to enter, the sparkling turquoise waters of a disappointed bridge, gleaming and glowing with life, speaking the truth to my connected self. The earth is like water, men are like stone. The glow of expectation, the embarrassment of karaoke, singing a song of thieves, country music with an electronic beat, trying to untangle the mess of history that life has made, trying to find a thread where there is none, floating outer space garbage. One day, the floating outer space garbage patch and the great Pacific garbage patch collided and created a new universe full of pressure, plasma, and energy, expanding at several thousand times the speed of light. The dead universe created a race of men who consumed each other day after day, night after night, to no purpose. We are speaking their language. We are thinking their thoughts. We are trained from our earliest indoctrination to worship their gods and spend their money, to do their work and cut down their forests. The dead are instructing us at every hour of every day. There is nothing more precious than your freedom, your human mind to resist. So resist the dead. You will be dead soon enough. But do one more thing. Do not impose yourself on the future. Let the future have its own death, its own garbage patch, its own space debris. Let the future, let the dead of the future speak their own truths and discover their own language. Do not let the future speak the language of your ancestors. Instruct the future to deconstruct those languages, those dead ideas, they do not work anymore. It is time for God to sleep in his eternal rest. It is time for language to disappear. It is time for clothes to be torn from the body, for computer programs to be erased. It is time to sterilize the past, to stave the future. Sterilize the world with nuclear fallout. Sterilize the earth and scrub it clean. No more mammal deities. It is time for idols of stone and glass to rest. It is time for language to die. It is the Sabbath year, Shemitah, for all things made of dead men. It is time for metaphors to be rendered nonsensical. Time to embrace the wild nonsense of life. Time to sleep with animals in the forest and push automobiles off cliffs. Time to stop planning. Time to let the world rust and decay.